A few weeks ago, we mentioned that here at Holt Architects, we were going to be completing a computational fluid dynamic study of our office here at 619 West State Street. And uh, in just a moment, I'm going to share with you uh, some of the first imagery from that model. Um, ME Engineering out of Syracuse, New York has assisted us with building a virtual model of this office space you're looking at, our open studio. And in about a moment, we're going to simulate a person infected with COVID-19 sitting in this workstation right in this location and um, begin to see how uh, infected droplets might move through the studio. We modeled a number of scenarios trying to decide how Holt Architects would return to the office. Staff wanted to know if they'd be allowed to remove their masks when seated at their workstations. And for that reason, our first model represents an unmasked person coughing three times in about a 10 minute period. You should note that anywhere from light blue to red represents the HID 50 or human infectious dose for COVID-19. And red is five times the human infectious dose. Notice that a cloud carrying a dosage five times that HID 50 is carried 30 feet across the studio. And a normal infectious dose can travel more than 50 feet indoors. Finally, notice that the cloud of virus never reaches the mechanical system where filters could be effective. The first model gave us absolute clarity when deciding that all of our staff would be required to wear masks at all times unless in a single occupancy space with the door closed. Our next step was to determine under what other terms would we occupy our office, even with a mask mandate. We'll show you in our next video why six feet of distance in a mask may not be enough when indoors. If you have any questions or would like to see more animations, please email me at sh at Thank you and be safe.